Mr. Chairman, before I begin, I think all of us on the Judiciary Committee and every member of Congress must first address the outrageous foreign policy and national security disaster that's taken place over the weekend. The American people awoke this morning to yet another incomprehensible and utterly avoidable disaster created by the obviously incompetent Biden administration. The president is clearly in far over his head. After 20 years, trillions of dollars and thousands of American lives were spent standing up Afghanistan's army and government. The country's been ceded back to the Taliban in less than a week to a disastrously ex executed Biden drawdown. Afghans who've helped the United States over the years are being killed along with their families. People are hanging onto the side of B-52s as they evacuate for fear of their lives under Taliban rule. There should be top to bottom accountability at the Pentagon and within the administration for this disaster. That this stunning failure has been met with silence from President Biden calls into serious question his ability to carry out his duties as commander in chief. While he vacations at Camp David, America's stature in the world has just taken another massive step backwards. It is shameful and it is dangerous. And I hope every one of us will acknowledge that publicly. The American people deserve and demand better.